Okay, basically, Blair, the next major issues I see, we're going to have no problem with door glass, the same as hard top. Right. The convertible back glass and the mechanisms are going to be a pain. Yes. Because I know we had an issue with the road, the actual Roadrunner rag that we built. We were hunting and packing, so. The belt line molding, too. Belt line right molding, top. yes. So we're going to have to find that. We're going to need this chrome. I know I have a set somewhere. I just have no idea where. Because I ordered a spare set, but I will look. It's something to look for. So we're going to need the quarter glass. Uh, we're going to need the power window mechanism. We do have the black top because we ordered black for the Roadrunner. And then we actually used white. Right. So we do have a brand new top. We might okay. just have to order the, the install kit, the pads and stuff. Uh, and, and the drive system. Okay, but as far as doing the body, there's nothing else holding this up now. No. We've got all our sheet metal. We've got all the sheet metal. We've got all the thing to latch the hood. We've got the hood hinges. Uh, we've got tail lights. I'm just going to get a lens. Yeah, things are progressing. Is that oh. going disc brakes or not? This. Yes. Yeah, that right door doesn't have a hole. What is it, Mike? What is this? This is the right door. Right. That, that side, side doesn't have a hole? Nothing. So what the hell is that? So obviously somebody welded up the hole. That's probably a 69 door. Because 68s were here, 9s and up were here. Because it was so See easy again, to open Mike? the door. This is an indication of a true 68 door. Just like Chevy's. Everybody used to have the lock back here. You just reach a piece of wire in and open the car. So after 68, Chevy and Dodge. I'm not sure about Pontiac. And now we'll probably all the GMs and all the Mopars move the door latch here. So slightly harder to pick. To steal it. Right? Because I can open my car in two seconds with a piece of wire. Yeah. So we'll have to check. But I mean, everything else is the same, I'm pretty sure. I'm looking at the holes and the gaps. Everything looks the same, but... I think it was just so we need 68 mechanism here. So we have one to go off of. Because this one's actually here, the lock is all here. So we know what we have to match up. So we're ahead of the game. I just gotta go and look at my doors, right? Now we gotta drill a hole? Yeah, I think it's within your technological capabilities. Could be, I just welded up a bunch over there. Yeah, okay, so anyway. So you're gonna do what, you're gonna drill a hole possibly? See, look, this is red. The steering column is red. <sighs> no way. I wonder if, well, I wonder if the, obviously the car was blue. Well, where did you get that column? Damn, that's a good question. <laughs> I have no clue. I have okay. no clue. All I know is we needed one and we have one. And it looks in decent shape maybe, once it's yeah. blasted. Well, yeah, right, because we're going white anyhow. None of yep. this matters. Yeah. I was just thinking yeah. maybe you got the rest of it. Oh. Anyway, okay, great, cool. So yes, so we can put all that latch mechanism here. Is it the same? What was that piece? It, does it have the same dent? Indent? No. No. Then it's not 68. It's 69. Okay. Right. Okay. It does. Okay. Don't. Do but it, no, but it's different. Right? You should have bet them, Blair. Like, you see this? That's all different. Okay, but I bet you this is the same. This well, this is thicker. Right? Yeah, but I'm saying this. Is this the right mechanism? Two holes, one. One hole. This is the same? <laughs> That's about it. Okay, these two holes. I mean, we can use this piece. On yeah. The oh, this piece is different because of this. Yeah, but that's it. All we get off this is this freaking yes. fat. That's it. Yes. And that should the work. The rest is junk. We can throw okay. it out. Well, no, we'll save it because this is off of 69. Look at this. What? Well, this. Oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. This could be coronet. Right? Because it drops down. I'm Green. not sure. Okay, anyway. Okay. Just save that because we do have that other one. And I can actually. We have no other we have no other satellite parts cards here. Okay. I sold them all at the auction because I was keeping dodges and they ended up with all the satellites. If we have to, we can liberate some pieces off the roadrunner, the 68 roadrunner. Okay. The, Anything I need? The white one. Yeah. I can, the convertible? No, no, that's a coronet. No. And I want you to put the door handles back on it when they come <laughs> back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pit of power. What's now you get a little picky. Like a treasure hunt. Where's the other two pieces? 
Tell me you got more than half. I forgive you. I see pieces of metal in there. They have that piece of sharp metal in there? That is a, that's a piece that goes on the window, and this is a piece that goes, um, that's a broken piece. Where is that, is that for the back? What is that? Looks like it's too short for here. Yeah. Great. Oh no, yeah. We'll lay it here. Maybe later I'll be robbing Peter to pay Paul. That is definitely not for this car. It's like a Chevy truck, isn't it? I have no idea what that is. Behind the back seat? Holding the jack and everything? Oh, maybe. It doesn't look like Dash. I don't know. It's a mystery. I think these are actual Plymouth hubcaps. But we aren't using them. See? You see? See, that's the Plymouth logo. They're probably like 14s, though. Go outside. Okay. Okay. Is the other piece of front glass there? Because that so we have both vent windows. Wow. What is that? Didn't that go on the back of the seat, or is that inner quarter? I have no idea. It could be either or. Okay. These are the two vent windows. We got. Yes. This car was blue at one time. Oh, shifter. Oh, it's an original piece there, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a bust of a rig. Yeah, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have to do some liberating from here and there. That's too onerous, we're gonna have to, well, we'll see how far we get. We might just have to get it done, put the pieces we got, paint it, and then let somebody else do the finishing, Blair. We shall see. Because it's gonna look way sicker painted that orange. It will. Once but you've you got the lose body. money by painting it. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, if you paint it and don't have all the parts, then don't paint it, and they can paint it whatever color they want. I think you'll... Ooh, look, Rover. <laughs> Just like it was meant to be. Let's see how this is going to look. This should go right. Right about there. I see it all now, Blair. Look at that grill. These things are simple. All we need is a couple of headlight buckets and we've got the front end. Like, honest to God. Like, look. There's just the headlight buckets. And basically, that's the front end, the two things around. There's no, there's no chrome on that hood, right? No. Oh, geez. Bumper? Hey, my bumper. Yes, did you bring it? No. <laughs> Yes, the bumper. We need the bumper, Blair. Tell Lou she's got to bring it with her. Yeah? Well, that's just because you're going back to your place. No, no. It is. Uh... I mean, it's not an original rad, but I do have a big block, Brad. I just don't know if this is just a record. Is this a record? I don't know, it's pretty close to the right side. Maybe not, probably not, whatever. Oh, I got a 
upside down. What do you put in here? 383 or 440. One of the two. It's a convertible, man. Yeah. You're trying to twist it. Uh, it's not as It's too big. But you know what I have? Over there, I got a 68 one that needs recore and a factory whole bar one for a big block. Well, you got a bunch of new aluminum ones, don't you? Not for this. You have to get one of the right size. You make it fit. I mean, Chris. you got them, right? We're trying not to spend a bunch of money. Yeah. Well, I got the one that we were going to put in the Chevelle. We never did. It was for a big block. So maybe. What other trinkets are lying in here? Yeah. Is there two of them? Well, we have one here. Cut out. Yeah. Melted. What the hell? Our buddy's at five of them. This isn't the car I lit on fire last year, is it? No. Oh, good. Well, another one we lit on fire. Okay. Because I see this melted and I'm like, oh no, was that me? <laughs> this would go with just inner board right here. Yeah. But I think you've got a few of those. Remember we got two? We had others? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the gap. That would be door panels. Where, where, where's that other blue piece that you just gave me? And this would go. Yeah, melt it up. It would melt it. That would go there. Here, hold that. That would go there. Yes. Yeah, let's go right here. Right? Go right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right on. Yeah. Something like that. Mm. That. Probably this one. Yeah, you're not getting away with that. What? Well, well, it's broken, but it's way up in here. And the other molding might be a little broken here, too. That one, we'll see. I'm pretty sure that plastic stuff is easily replaceable. Somewhere, somewhere I have all the convertible chrome for the outside of this thing, somewhere. I ordered a set and we never found it. Somewhere I have it because I had it down in my other shop. So you're saying in a container somewhere? In a container somewhere. Oh, yeah. Treasure hunt, Blair. Treasure hunt. Hey. Here we go. What do we got? What is this? 57. Funny, yeah. Six Chev or something? Of course it doesn't say. What is that? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, hell, yeah, that's 567 Chevy. This is for the top of the hard top. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. a nice cut. Jeez, I know somebody needs some of that. We yeah. do. Okay, give me that. Excellent. That's the bottom of the grill? What is that? What is that? No, that's upholstery, man. Okay. Dash. Oh, that goes steering that go, goes around the steering column. On this car? It could be, yeah. Uh, oh, well, satellite. We don't care. We're not using this, though, right? Yeah, we want it to be the same as Roadrunner. Look and see. Well, not going to be a Roadrunner. That would be a satellite. Fancy, right? Yeah, but I think Roadrunner and satellite are the same in this. I'm just wondering if this is a piece or not. What? I mean, it's the right color of blue. Yeah. There's the glove box. Red, blue. Yep. Red spring, trunk spring. Maybe not, Blair. I don't know. It'd have to fit. But it's the right color. Yes. 
don't know. I'm gonna have to look, but yeah, I think that goes there. And now the, that's your switches, right? Those oh, are, wait, we're not using that's that your that ignition. No, but we have black. Yeah, well, I, yeah. Okay, well, look at the red one. It's up, it's st stacked up, but I think that's the parts. I mean, if we got a dye, and we can dye blue, black, as well as red, black. Yep. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, because because the ignition goes right here. That's where your key goes. Yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. where you do. Okay, so that's the piece for that, okay? We can leave it there. How's the floor in this? I mean, have you seen it? I think it's been changed. I'm looking, does it look, or is it original? It's original to me, I still see spot welds here, so that's original. Uh, there's no way it can be real. Okay, what's that piece? It's another dash the piece. Ashtray cover? I think so. Oh, you could be right, Blair. I thought you weren't a car guy, Blair. Yeah, but I'm no ashtray. <laughs> what's this? Hey, I got to check the option list on this car. Because that is a disc brake caliper single. It was 68 only. This could have been a disc brake car blur. Oh, no. Because they had that one year only funky. Oh, yeah, but that's the hard to for. I know, but I mean, is that what the other one looked like? When you took it, you come down to the bolts and hold the disc. It's just the one year only was single piston. Yeah, but there's a special bracket in the top there. Yeah. 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 Anyway, we'll, we'll put it up there just in case. You can do a pair of arrows. Yeah, I think we might have a pair of arrows when we're running at it. You're such a pessimist. Well, if you want to make some freaking money so we can do more. I just might have to go back to work to keep you employed. Or look at the bright side. Then I'm not here. Ah. <laughs> okay, Blair, original. Look, there's rust here. But well, that's a pretty decent floor look. Guaranteed that's original. There's no way this car is off. Thank you. Right. This is amazing, man. Like, I mean, you look up here, right? Yeah. That is stunning. I can't yeah. believe it. Look. I've never seen one like oh, that. Oh, where did I put those new pieces you gave me? <laughs> oh, oh man. I think I put them in the bottom drawer where the magic glove is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, that's a cool piece. Convertible botch. Oh, look, here's the other hole. Where's the one you found? Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Like, that looks like your hair. That is the uh, convertible top mechanism. What's that? Temperature, control, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy, that is amazing. That floor, where's this car from? Where'd you get it? Well, how long have you had it the first time you had it? When was that? 10 years. <laughs> Can you remember where you got it from? Yeah, the guy said it was rust free and it showed up with a whole bunch of free rust. <laughs> oh look, there's the rest of the ashtray. Here, give me that piece. Yeah, man, it's clean. open like. So then if that's blue, is that the original column that was in here? That's what I'm thinking, but then it wouldn't have... But it's missing all the pilot. Yeah, but it wouldn't have the... Uh... Oh, here's the pump. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, that's drunk. It wouldn't have that it's fucking full of water. shifter. Unless somebody welded this in, Blair, was do doing the power. Might work. <laughs> well, we'll test it. Okay. See, could be the original column when somebody went from the split fence, because that's, that's the console. You want to go back and you can go to the top to hold the fabric against, like, you can see the snaps on it? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. That's in good shape. It goes up over the yeah, yeah. towel. Yeah. Just threw out all those boxes. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 
this important door stuff, and this is hard to get. Like 1968, Blair, the little round oh, thing yeah. on the... Yeah, very nice. We don't want to lose these. No. You see that, Blair? Okay. And I just threw all the boxes out. Oh, look, here's, here's the other latch. Those are the speaker vents. What's this? Satellite. Yeah, you're gonna have to go through this. This is door lodge. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch more door stuff here, man. Okay, hang on. Yeah, you don't want to lose that shit. No. I'm going to put it all on top of this Chevy window for the time being. And we'll go through it. Where did I put that other piece? Where is it? I'm already losing shit. Oh, it's a treasure hunt. Okay, speaker. <clears throat> See this dash? No, those are the vents. Yeah. Oh, look. There's the brass thingy. Oh, the wedge for the doors. Yes, there's one. It would go right here. That's a cool piece. Like these doors, they um, like they rattle on the on, on the convertible, so they make a wedge. So when the body flexes, the doors don't doors yes. can't move. Is that the wedge there? Yes. Let's see, show me the wedge. Right here, this brass piece. Your hair's in the way. Yeah. But anyway, that's oh, a cool, it's a cool piece. Tilt it up now. No, tilt up towards you. There you go. Yeah. Anyway. Huh. Trinkets, trinkets. Well, there's all kinds of small things in here you've got to go through, like that window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the regulators, the sliders, the cam, the rollers. There's some really good stuff. My buddy was just online trying to find one of these. Sifting through sand, looking for gold coins. I don't know what that is, Blair. What is that? No clue. Oh, that's cool. That looks like throttle linkage, gas pedal. It is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so wetness, wetness. Bring it give them down. tens of dollars, you'll see. Steering column component. Treasures? Treasures. Throttle. Gas pedal. Linkage. I gotta, I gotta uh, decode the, uh, the fender tag. I'm pretty sure it was, might have been factory disc brakes. You know, this is the original trunk lid. This is even an option lot. With this piece of chrome, with the road runner, some of them were flame. Some of them. This was a satellite. Yeah. The satellite, like the chrome on the satellite, is the heavy gas piece. Like you brought up three of them all together. The cast. Yeah, the cast. But I think it's the same. I think it was like a road runner option for Chrome, right? But the one picture we saw, I mean, I'm going off pictures because I'm not a road runner efficient. I mean, I like them, but I'm not an expert really? on what options they came with, Blair. But, but, we, but we can decode the fender tag. Yeah. They'll say if there was a special trim package and then you can look it up. Okay, let me get it go. Oh, okay. What? This one doesn't have anything. 
It should be right there. Oh, 68 back there. Open it here. Yep. Uh, so when did they go up top? But see, in 68, this doesn't have the VIN. It has a body number. Right. So the yeah. fender tag, actually, you should, where is it? Oh, right okay. Here. okay, so you see Blair, 68 was the only year. After 69, they put the VIN. But this is the body number. So if I go into my safe and pull out my fender tag, yeah. it should have that number on it. Should okay. we do that? What do you think? Should we do that? Do what? Just to see? Yeah, go like away. you're gonna go into your safe and actually find it? Yes. Yeah, right. Then let me look. Of course. I won't look at your... What are the last three digits, Blair? Just a minute. Let's see what we have here. I will be horribly impressed. Hang on. Well, Good. surprised. Shocked and awed? <laughs> yeah. I believe we're going to see it, man. Hang on. I think I'm pretty safe. I could get a cup of coffee on that. I never. Three minutes. I never did check it. I mean, I owned the car for 10 years. <laughs> that was just another one in the lineup, eh, bro? I know. You sold it twice, right? Yeah. Well, I bought it and then I sold it. Hang on. Where did I put those? <laughs> Don't start. Don't <laughs> start, you doubting Thomas. You can imagine my surprise. Hang on. Another block. Getting warmer? Warmer? You're Whirl. Bugging me. You're bugging me. What are you doing? Oh, this is for Jay's car. That's for the bro. Hang on. I'm looking, because when, so when they took that car apart, they pulled a boo-boo and they took the VIN off and you're not supposed to because, come on, up, oh, up, oh, what is this? Okay, what, what, oh it's look, green. it's blue, it's no, blue, it's, it's blue. Let me see. Oh. And we pull this out. What is it? And we turn it around, 916. Oh, oh, oh. We have a winner! Anyway, so, 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 but see, in 69 and up, this number would have been on, on the plate, but it's not. So this is the one from the, inside the, the This is the dash. Right. Oh. But see, our satellite premium sports satellite package, 27, two-door hardtop, H383-1968. But that's the VIN number. After 68, this number would would have been here. But in 68, they did the body number. So if we go That's look in the trunk. Yes, I know, but it doesn't matter. Somebody took it off the sandblast, the dash, because they're stupid. But, oh, we have a set of factory lifts to go back on. Oh, nice. But anyway, so if you look here, open the trunk, Blair. But I can't, okay. Just open the trunk and I'm gonna show you. So if we have a matching, car that nothing's been taken apart, that number should match this number. Right. And if you open the trunk, praise Jesus, if you open the trunk, sure. this number will be stamped right there. What's that number say, Blair? That number. Does it say 68A06916? Yeah, it might. Yep. Okay, fine. Suck it up, princess. For you. <laughs> make a mark on the wall. And you're gonna finish cleaning this up? Then you're gonna make dinner? Yes, I'm gonna go get a garbage bag right now. So when Clint sold me the car back, he said, Mike, it never came with tags. I said, there was a VIN and a fender tag. Because without it, the cars were nothing. Yeah. So two months after I bought the car, he said, I found them. They came out of the envelope with the paperwork. So he, so he delivered them when he, uh, one of his buddies came up for something. Well, that was pretty cool. Anyway, so like, Shay, it's in the little drawer. <coughs> okay. Drawer. So 
little drawer in the safe. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, somewhere, if I got the grill, see, I used to have a set that went with this. Oh, but see, I was, I never knew I had this one. That one's been hanging on the wall for five years waiting. So we'll look and see which is the better grill. Oh, is that why we couldn't take it down? Yes, well, I did. Well, I sold somebody the headlight buckets because they begged me. But I think I have another set. And what are we doing tomorrow? Looking for headlight buckets. And then we have the whole front end of the car. But where are we going to look for them? We're going to go in deep, deep into the depths of Secan City and do a treasure hunt. <laughs> Lincoln is excited. Where yes. is he? He might find a rat in there. <laughs> oh, you dirty rat. You dirty rat. Okay. Comes in here. I know what this is. Claire. Yeah, man. If I'm right, this was a factory disc brake car because they had those funky brakes one year only, single piston. I think I have to run the numbers. Okay, but did Roadrunners ever have disc brakes? Or was it just saddles? It was an option. You had to tick it off, right? But it was one year only for these things. I should run that number. See, this is January. I'm not sure on the date code. Are these things new or junk? Oh, they're junk. I mean, you, like you can't even buy parts for them. Well, where's my phone? What's that number? Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's just, let's just check. Okay. Wait a sec. Jeez, man. Hang on. Uh, wait a sec. I gotta get into. Okay, hang on then. 68. Uh, okay, hang on. I'm, 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 not, I'm just gonna go Mopar part number and see. No, actually, it was a Kelsey Hayes break. It's KH. It was Kelsey Hayes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 Now, KH831. 831. 6 60. 60. I mean, that could be an 8. That's it. 60482? No. 6 KH831. 6. I think that's an 8. It could be. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 6. Hang on. 6. Eight. K. KH8316. No. Yes, eight three one six eight. One, six eight. Brake caliper. Hang on, let's go. Let's just see. Let's you see know what it says. This might have been new when it was thrown in here, because there's still shiny chrome here. Hang on. Okay, let's just Google um, Kelsey Hayes. Wait a sec. Because I remember Mike. Remember Mike Ketter. He was the one who said, yeah, nobody can ever, you can't get parts for him. It was a Kelsey Hayes well, in 68 only. On your car, the yellow one. I had a nightmare getting the front disc on that. The brackets. We got new brakes, but I had to get original brackets. No, we also had to change the calipers to a 69 because they, they were one year only. Right. They weren't Dodge. But it was still a so nightmare, so having yeah. these doesn't do us a lot of good. Kelsey don't have Hayes, the 68 Dodge brake caliper. Dodge. Disc brake caliper, let's just see. But I'm thinking. Again, bare brakes makes these for the car, but not the bracket that mounts them. Not for 68, so it probably makes 69. Let's just see, go. And I'm thinking, look, does that look like that? Single piston. That Show one right there. Yeah, in the middle. Yep. Show me, Mike. Right there. That's her, man. Yep, so you even got the indentation. Yep. Right on. Mike, so, show that again next to it for yeah. a few seconds. Exactly. Blair, turn yours to your right, other way. Mike, show me the phone. So maybe there we go. So they do repop, but that's it, because like Mike said, it was a one year only design, and then Dodge made their own brakes. Okay, did these guys sell the mounting hardware? I don't know. Kelsey is pin style. Is it a pin style? Yeah, passenger see, side driver. That side. weird freaking bolt you found was going through here. Where is it? Right here. That's right. Yeah. Oh, you smart for you. Ooh, I am, I am. Oh, I am, I am, said That's Blair. That's absolutely it. Yep. Okay. So, these have ne never been mounted on a car. Really? Well, everything's freaking shiny. There's still chrome here. Yep. It's just Everything. been sitting out in the rain for Throwing 20 years. Throwing a fucking molasses. Yeah. <laughs> Treasures. Treasures. Well, it's just, yeah, yeah. we'll update, but it's cool. Because, I mean, this could have been a disc brake car. I bought it and he the bin. Or decode the fender tag, maybe tomorrow. Hey, where did I put the first one, Blair? Right here. Yes. Okay, did you find the other bolt in your travels? I should make three more. 
Well, it doesn't matter for me. No. I, you we gotta finish cleaning up the car. Oh, what's this? S2. Yeah, but 50% rate. Right. Huh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Okay, leave it. Okay, Mopar Magic. That's cool. Very cool. It'd be cool if this was, like I said, it should, it should say if this was a disc brake car. If not, somebody was adapting 68 brakes on it, but it would be, probably be more likely this one would have it because it was a premium package. It was a higher end car. Because somebody could have put them on. Who knows what's yeah, happened? Would have taken from this brake shop. If you couldn't get parts. Yes. Okay. Be, right? Damn, that's twice you've been right today. What? <laughs> twice you've been right today. I'm right all the time. What's that song? You're absolutely right. No. You were right. No. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And what's the next line? And I was wrong. <laughs> It's okay, Blair. Remember, you're not a car guy. That's right. Right. I can. You have an excuse for your ignorance. <laughs> I think this is original. You see what bugs me? Look at this, right? What? Now I got to do a repair back here. What did they do? Well, that's what I couldn't quite understand what happened there. They changed this piece. So it's a new trunk floor. Is it? Yeah. Well, look at the spot weld here, right? Yeah. Unless they just did a frame rail, but no, all this. So you can see there's a tiny bit here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, this is the stuff that we could leave for someone else to help. No, them. we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it all. Okay, if we're gonna paint it, we have to. Yes, yeah, we're painting it. But that's so now you're talking two people to build a car. And... It's okay, Blair. It's gonna be so nice. Um, a 1969 Cuda orange color. Ooh, ooh, That's ooh. a great color. It is. Spectacular. Okay. Anyway, this guy, we're just, look, even me just cleaning this garbage out has just improved the value of this car $5,000. Wow. Somebody, somebody walks into the, next time somebody walks into the shop, it's all sitting there in primer. That, that hood. Sitting on there, with the black, oh, they're just going to go, exactly how much, the time how much, to sell it. Well, we might, we might, but, we but we will continue struggling towards completion. Come on, Claire, get it, look, a door. <laughs> oh, wow, man. <laughs> Say, put that away, we're going to need that once we find the rest of the door mechanism. Yeah, like you're not wound up enough already. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Ooh. That was, here, throw that on the pot. That was good. You're learning. Oh, yeah. We're going to make a big star out of you. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> what? No, that stuff. That one's dried out. You might that as well. Not good. We have a 40 of them. Okay, I'm saving up. So these, all this in here just has been bouncing around in this car for years. 10 years, ever since I bought it. Actually, where, where has this been sitting? Oh, Blair! Where? Look! The other one. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is very cool. There's stuff like that you will never, they will never repop it and you'll never find one. Oh, by the way, I found all kinds of uh, brake shoes for the guy 31. Did you? I'll lift them they're all over the place. Okay, we'll send them a list tomorrow. I know some of them have said they wouldn't sell you any unless you had a set of cores, but he doesn't. Guys, sell them already wide. Okay. Hey, there's a whole bunch of really tiny window parts in there, right? I'm looking, but I'm not picking up anything that weighs anything. I'm just getting the leaves. What is that? Is that a window stopper? Or? See, oh, oh, that. I believe it goes in the, right here in the vent window. Is oh, screwed? okay. Yeah. There's not that many window parts here, Blair. There's not much in any of Yeah, well, whatever was there, I grabbed. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, these shiny washers aren't part. Uh, I don't know, that's an original. But you know what we need here? We need a magnet. Let's do this with our hearts and our minds. This is about a front fender bolt kit for these. 
You, you ordered one? Yeah, I can follow for me. Okay, well. Yeah, but no, that's more not. That's the whole front end part, isn't it? Uh, Drill, this. I'm not sure. It should be all of this. Should be all of this. You've got the special bolts in the bottom of the bandit that you got to have. Yeah, yeah. Controlling for treasure. What do you got here? Ooh. I hate that. What is it? Oh, that is a whip check for an airline. Oh, okay. It's a safety device. Used by rock scalers. They were running out of treasure. Okay. That is a the gasket for around the vent window. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's new. It actually kind of looks. Could be. We'll stick it with stick it with the, with the vent windows. Right in your eye, huh? Save this piece of wire because I use it all the time. Oh, I heard, I heard something. Oh, that looks like a front end bolt. It's rotten. What was that? Nope, that's. What was that? That was like a wheel stud for a truck. Yes? Yeah, it's a stud. Not for this car, Dave. Eh? Oh, there's a blue bolt. I think that's a door bolt. I think that's a door bolt, isn't it? Well, it could be 560. Okay, the next thing. Yes, Blair. Okay, that cannot be. Okay, something. Either that is the wrong column. And this is an original floor. This is a bucket seat floor because it has these. So it could have been bucket seats, column shift, and then these guys were going to mount a console in it. But that looks like all factory shit for the shifter. So, yeah, so I think the original column's gone. Because it should have been bucket seats. I mean, if that's all factory here and this looks like it, I mean, it looks like it's the original shit, right? That's to mount the console. So it should have been console shift. It should not have had a lever. Do you have a proper column? If I don't, I know someone that does. Oh yeah? Yes. Just we'll have to deal with Trick Gerhard. He's like pulling teeth out of the guy. Never bought anything off him except $50,000 car. Because <laughs> he says, well Mike, whatever you want to pay for parts, I'm not selling them to you. <laughs> Well, you could help, but you're just supervising them. I'm in awe of your skill. <laughs> I want to see where you go wrong. Okay, I think we're just going to... Well, we don't have... The bin doesn't get empty until Monday. That's right? right. But I'm just going to half fill this because these bags are cat. I've got better ones, but I'm going to use these ones up just to get rid of them. Okay. Look, we're half done. One bag. Let's get another one. Could fire up the vacuum. Hey, why am I coming this way? Uh, it's looking pretty good though, Blair. Look, we can see them. Yeah, I'm thinking, is, is, is there any rust? Rust on this side or just that side? We should get Chris to come and blast it. I think this floor needs some hammering. Does that look stock yeah, to you? It look like it's right. up there, but this side's the same. Then. Okay, then it's not. Yeah, no, it's the same. Well, you know what would be cool? Well, just how is it that freaking clean? I have no clue. I mean, because I needed a frame rail. Did they change the back frame rails or, or are they stock? I never know. Tell me there's an eight and three quarter in here. I don't even remember. Is there an eight and three quarter in here? I would not know. Because you know. Because <laughs> he's not a car guy? Is there an eight and three quarter in here? How would I tell? It's a pumpkin like a Ford. It's an eight and three quarter. Oh. So at least it's got a good diff. The shackle's got to go. These springs are bad. Oh, we got a bee's nest here. We need a set of hemi springs in here. Here, bud. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, 
You want a ringer? <laughs> <laughs> See, them shackles got to go. It's clean or anything, though. It's, like, it's amazing. It's amazing that it needed all the parts it did, because the rest is so good. I mean, someone did the trunk floor, I'm guessing. Yeah. You think if it, why would the frame rail, are those, are those frame rails original, Blair, or are they even done? Kind of look like it, but I'd have to go under with the light and have a good look. Um, because all these welds up there are new, so it's possible. It's safe. You gotta be able to look back here. Yeah. Look at the, the welds on this end. I'll see. Because these ones have been redone. Wait, no, they did a little patch. Where are you looking at? Right here. See, the, see, like they've done a patch here. But these are original. Yeah, they look original. But, yep. they're, but they're pretty solid. Yep. See, I mean, if, if you put the frame, like as long as they don't with this stuff, like like this supports this supports your, your, your suspension. Back here, it's just holding the thing. So if you are going to do a patch, it's good to do it here. But the rest of that looks... Amazing. Looks yummy. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, normally, like, you stick your finger up here, and if you don't feel a half inch of gunge, you're ahead of the game. Right? Because normally they rust from the inside out, right? Those feel pretty good. Yeah, they did trunk, they did drop offs. These are all new. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we can fix this patch they did, make it look a little prettier. Yeah, and the back of that wheelhouse, I got to do a patch. Yeah. Yeah, here, the, these are little patch here, Blair, at the front of this. We actually have some, I don't know if we want to there? <laughs> well, actually, right there. Yeah. This, yeah. I got some of these. We just might want to change them out if we're going to be putting some power to it. I think we got a sheet of 12 gauge, actually. Do you? Yeah, which is what the frame rails are made out of. Yeah. Yeah, I like your job. Like, they didn't, like, they didn't fill all the holes. Whatever, That's we're going to make it look pretty. It's Greg. Hey Greg. Why is it you still like snowing? No, it's soft. Did it? Oh, Hi Greg. Like, yeah. what, what are you admiring in there? Nothing. I'm just looking. I walked out there and I was like, Yeah, I asked Blair if he if he'd been outside in a while. He said, No, why? I said, because there's six inches of snow. Yeah, these are like 318 springs. We need some. We need the seven leafer on the other side. These is like four, five. Yeah, see that one's got the same, the same amount. When you got the heavy springs, you got six. Five on this side and six or seven on that side. Because that's your torque side. Are you serious? They what? got a different amount of leaves? Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, the hemi springs, all those packs I got. Right? Right, because normally... No okay, freaking way. Right, the, the motor twists this way, Blair. So all the torque on the car goes this way. So those springs on the big block cars are heavier. Doesn't change how I put a quarter panel on, does it? No, but it changes the springs. No, that's what I mean. I didn't right? So yeah, because you know what I mean? When you're honking on 500 horse going this way, yeah, the drive shaft is GM just... GM doesn't do that. Oh, GM offsets the motor. You look at a Corvette, the motor is offset to one side, side. to the right side by an inch yep. and a half. Yep. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, he's a no, no. Between him and his brothers, they know everything. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, I'm surprised. Wow. Anyway, somewhere we should have a new set. Blair, you want to grab me one more bag? I went there to get a bag and I got sidetracked. You sidetracked me. I was laser focused there for at least 30 seconds. Uh, right there underneath that first shelf there. Garbage bag, right? Right on your right, as soon as you walk past the sand glass to the floor drive. There you go. Yeah. Like, like, the, like, these are original floors in this car. Everything, like, it just, we're short a couple parts. Are you gonna wash your hands before dinner when you make it? No, so I'm just gonna, just like that, then I'm gonna go start cooking for you, Matt. <laughs> Here, look. Sanitized. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be delicious. Ooh, look, a wiper. We have a wiper. <laughs> Perfect. I think we might be missing a few parts here and there, Blair. 
A handful, even. Yeah. A handful. <laughs> Is it? That's that's the right mic. Yeah. 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 Okay. We should have some of those out on some of the doors. Oh look! Here's another one of these. Those. I don't know if they repop them or okay. not. Didn't. Didn't Jay have a hard time finding his? Or? No, I got some, but yeah. you, you can get those though. Yeah, okay. But if you're painting this, everything has to be new. Now you're going to buy door handles and locks. And it doesn't have to be new. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Then don't paint it. We're painting it. Same color as the orange one, Greg. You remember the one Boyd painted the heavy orange? I love that. The, the oh, Cuda okay. orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cuda orange. That's a car. That was my favorite car, I think, when we painted that car. It looked sharp. But yeah, you, you heard it right there. You got to put all new chrome on it. Don't yeah. Have anything old. They get all new. Okay, well, you know what that means. You know what that means? We got to sell some. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just pricing on bumpers. Yeah, I need bumpers. Holy. thousand bucks a piece, man. Are they? How many? Eight hundred thousand bucks. Oh, that's good. That's a brand new one. Hey legend, I am now a, a, a dealer for legendary. I get 20% off. Right off the top. <laughs> what? 20%. Hey, you can buy so much more. <laughs> well, every five cars, I get one for free. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work like that for labor, I don't think. <laughs> no. No, but it does for fun. Well, they make the nicest stuff. Actually, we should look at the stuff that we got for the Super Beast. Maybe tomorrow we'll examine it. What's that? How's that come along with Mike? What? Don't know. He says he's going to have it back to me by the end of January. Is this a Connors car? What? It's like a fuel cell strap. Could be, yes. Might be. Because I know he wanted to move the fuel cell or something. What's that? I should know what that is. What is that? Oh, it's in the door. It's in the door and it goes from the latch to the locking mechanism that has a little rod. So it goes about here. Oh, okay. okay. The rod comes across. Oh, look. Well, this there. one has stuff in it. Some of it. Some of it. I took most of it out of it. Okay. Or with that, the smell, they just blur one end of the next. Well, I know where this piece goes. Right down Yeah, there. well, no one. As yeah. I say, don't put it on cheap ass. No. <laughs> we're gonna re we're gonna refurbish it. Yeah. I don't get him. There's been thousands of dollars on a rust bucket, but he wants 10, 50 bucks for some new rubber or something. Well I see Dave made it back and got two out of the four. Oh he did? <laughs> well, that's yeah, the, the two the, the two the that inch. the two that yeah, and the nine inch, yeah. I see and he got that, he grabbed the two that might be good and the nine inch and the ones I really wanted to are still here. Now I might go back out and take them back. <laughs> anyway, okay. Good here? Okay. Hang on, I'm just going to hook onto that gate from front of my gate, and then I found out it was glare. Hang on, where's the vacuum for just a minute? And I'll just give her just a lick and a promise. The start of a brand new day. Hey, where did I put the hose? Hey, okay, where's the back? Okay, this one. This is the old one. We now have two of these. I bought one for work. Why is it so f***ing heavy? Did you take a pay cut? You're the camera guy now? Yes. Why is this so heavy? I'm starting a new. Blair, why is it? Oh, I know why it's so f***ing heavy. There's 40 pounds of f***ing sand in it. <laughs> Blair, what is that vacuum from? I don't know. Tell me this thing doesn't Hey guys, I don't usually recommend products, but we have had this wash vacuum for six years, and this is one of the best tools we have ever had. If you're in the mood for a shop vac that's good, this thing's HEPA filter, filters all the stuff out of the air.
They're 900 bucks Canadian, but I'm telling you, that is a damn good vacuum. What? Yeah. What? And one of the pig pen from all those Swiffers and uh, bleach and flare. <laughs> Grab me that big uh, hose that I found. Where's that big hose, Claire? What do we do with it? And this vacuum has a cool feature that it took us a couple months to figure out what the hell it was because we're not very smart. When you put it on auto clean and you start vacuuming, there you go. Oh, where, where's the right one, Blair? Oh, this one? Which one does it beat? Oh, here. I don't have a ticket for that machine. Automatic filter cleaning. Hear that? We could not figure out what it was. It cleans the filter by itself. So if you're doing a lot of dirty work, this puppy's for you. Oh, suck it up, baby. Suck it up. Oh, listen to that. The beat is a different drum. We had attachments, but I think they got sucked up. Then any tool that'll take five years of us abusing it is a great tool. I'd like to do a shout out for Bosch for making a great tool. And not to be rude, but not only does this thing suck, but if you put it on the other side, it blows. Whoa, ooh, suck that. Careful you don't get your hair in there. Oh, that's some of the treasures.
I think I just, I think that one I just took out there was good. I had no clue because it wasn't seized and it's been inside wrapped in plastic for five years. That's how I know. I don't know either. Okay, anyway, that's as good as it's getting tonight. Supper time. Oh, oh, look what else we found in our travels, Blair. What's that? You remember how we said we're going white with the upholstery? Oh, yeah. I think on another project many moons ago, these are the backs of 69 Roadrunner seats. Do you have the fronts? Uh, I think I do out in the shop. Do you I gotta have go the seats. Home. Yes. Really? And they're white. So I gotta see if these are the same. Eights and I don't know if eights and nines are the same, but if you have 69 seats, that's what we're putting in. Yeah, okay. Right? Because I mean, the only difference would be the upholstery, then we just get 69 to match the seats. But I know we have a set, and these are legendary. <laughs> anyway. Very good. Yes, so we do have some parts that I didn't know we had. So far, we're up a. So, Greg, what do you know about Roadrunners? Because I know some of the pictures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I know some of the pictures showed this plane. And some of them show up with this. There's, you there's a four different ones. Because the sports satellite are the big thick ones. Yeah, see, this is the, the tin, this yeah. is tin one. You get so the this big, is Roadrunner. Roadrunner or straight satellites. Yeah. Uh, but the sports had the big cast actually, ones. Actually, a lot of Roadrunners didn't have nothing. They had yep. uh, just some separate little rings on them. But yeah. I've also seen Roadrunners with this one because we were just, yeah. just looking. So, I mean, I'm not that much up on every option. But, but this, is, this may be a Roadrunner. Roadrunner satellite because it's just a light tin one. Yeah. Yep. But it's got the Roadrunner thing on it. Yeah. So who knows? But I think mean, it's going to look good if I can find some lights. I think I got some spare sets, don't I? Yeah, I give you a set. Yep. Well, we should have had a couple sets for Jay's car, too. Mm. At the start. Or no? No, I and I, I give you 69s. Yeah, because nine, yeah. Yeah, 69 yeah, is eight eight nines. Nines are these ones, Claire. The ones I give you were nines. Yes. Right here. Yeah. Right? They go, that's the blend. Yeah. They go in further now, eh? 69 goes. This. How do they go back like that? Yeah, the other way. Yeah. Like this. Yep. Yeah. 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 So when we do the 69 road runner, voila. Oh, hold it up there. Yeah. Okay, there. That's a 69. So which 69? Hold it Can you hold it there? Uh, what? Fidgety? That's sideways. It was, how's it go, Greg? Like this? Yep. Yeah. You're the low car guy. Yeah, but I don't forget or don't remember. Both you guys. <laughs> I forget all the time. What am I saying? I forget everything. Mine like a sieve. So we've got a bunch of housings and only one lens, but they make the lens. You need to pull down one of those Roadrunner grills and you need a GPX grill down. Yes, well actually, and I found another one. So yeah, we have three. I want something good though. Yeah. Well, I I know Where's now. my satellite grill, Mike? I found that. Where, where was it? Right, on the shed out okay. there. Right. This one's pretty good. There's, like, I mean, you're not gonna find perfect, Man, but. It's just in a little bit yeah. Yeah, a little, little bit there. But I mean, like I said, we've got three. Like the best one I want, and then the second best. So we'll look at the three. No. What? You can't put that on a new paint job. Yeah, you can. After you glare the body smith, but it's original. Yeah, but it's not shiny. You can buy original Roadrunner ones for three to four hundred bucks on eBay, yeah. but yeah. the GTX ones, twelve hundred. That's because they're plastic. Twelve hundred bucks. Okay, whatever. And well, we got three, so tomorrow we'll. I put all. Oh, you can see. Check this ladder out. Check this ladder out. It's got a platform at twelve feet or ten feet. How'd you get that? Lord Co. They love me, Lord Co. I would like to recommend that this ladder is another cool piece of like, Check this out. You gotta check this out. Right? Somehow when we started filming, the film guys said, Mike, put in the most expensive lights you can buy, 900 bucks a piece, because we need all this light. And then, and then they said, put in all the windows you can, because we need all this light. 
And then they said, Mike, it's too f***ing bright in here. We got to put tinting on all your windows. Hang on, I'll pull these out. Okay, pull. And then you go plastic over your lights and they're so full of dirt. Hang on, okay, open it up. Okay, we want to go right here. Okay. No, stick it right inside there, huh? Stick it right inside there, slide it in. Okay, so what? Okay. So what this ladder does, oh, this ladder, this thing, this thing is as cool as the back. Save it later. Okay. So you climb up here, and then you flip this down. And then you can stand up here. That is really cool. That is a nice ladder. And take these pieces. No. Except there's so much dust here, it's going to kill us all. So we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, that is a cool ladder. I would like to thank Louisville and 370 pound load capacity. So even Avery can pack his fat ass up here. You go, Louisville. Good product. <laughs>